Hey YouTube, come with me. The garage is a big mess. Getting more horde life. Gotta quit doing that. Oh, what a busy weekend. I hope you guys in the States had a good holiday weekend. I'm busy over here. Hopefully the sunshine ain't messing with you. Can you see that? Stainless steel washing machine. Has one of them big ass heavy covers on it. One of these guys. This is what it looked like before I attacked it. I'm going to put you down a little more. Making sure you can see all that. So, two screws, boom, and then it pops out the back. So I'm going to be able to put that back on when I'm done. A little piece of tin came off. Of it. Now, I already pulled the circuit board out. It's Monday, by the way. Happy holiday to American friends. Happy, happy Veterans Day, I do believe it is. That had a really nice circuit board in. Look at that nice little chunk of copper right there. One of them little, little motors. The water inlet motor. Now it's got a lot of wiring. Well, I guess you're just going to come right off, aren't you? The wiring's been holding you on. And lots of garbage. I've got disposed of that properly. So I've had a busy weekend. I did take a load of shred out. Doesn't pay much. We're getting five cents a pound here for shred. It's in Sarnia, Ontario. Five cents a pound. I don't know if it's going to make a difference. Five cents a pound here or five cents a pound in the U.S. When it's that small of a quantity, I guess it doesn't matter. So I brought in a pickup truck load. I got about forty-eight dollars. So anyways, it's got to go because our bulk wheat starts again this coming weekend. So I have to get back at her again. I'm trying to make this shrink a little bit. And it is. Cell life's been doing pretty good. Marty, if you can, get one of your kids or your wife to help you, you know. <clears throat> it's amazing what some people buy. I sold... Well, sorry, my wife sold, to be more specific, she's the one doing just like what Mr. Scrappity calls the Reaper. We've been doing a lot of cell life. We've been digging through what we had. And apparently with that little heat wave, I think it was Saturday morning, like we had a lot of rain. That's why I only got one load out. For shred on Saturday because I wasn't sure if it was going to rain again or not and I wasn't going to play in the rain and our scrap yards are all mud so I didn't want to wallow around in the mud I think I'll cut you right here. but anyways remember that snow blower <clears throat> you saw my wife and I load with the crane on the truck well I didn't know if that old Veteran would run or not. Well, that old girl fired right up. <clears throat> she ran, purred like a kitten. I don't understand why people throw their stuff away like that. Maybe he tried to sell it. <clears throat> hey, one guy offered me 20 bucks for it, and that was before I knew it ran. Well, now I know it runs. Uh, it just tripled in price. Actually, five times the price. I want 100 bucks for it now. Five speeds forward, one reverse, where it runs very well. Everything works on it. Transmission, gears, everything. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. Dissecting. These are one of the ones you can't do just on the side of the road. It requires a lot of time, unless you got a lot of time just to hang out on the side of the road. <clears throat> That's why I take these home. Almost stand on your head. That's the motor right there. There's a fair amount of wire on it. I try to take it all off in one big chunk. She's 
see I'm gonna have to dig under there or or not. I get most of it. It's not a complete stainless. <coughs> the door is stainless. See, it's not sticking. This is stainless, the bottom, but the sides are not. They look the same. I've taken one of them apart before. Not fun, and I sliced my thumb open. Stainless steel is a heartless bitch. She'll cut you sure as shit. Even with gloves on. I had a brand new pair of leather gloves on, and she cut right through, sliced my thumb wide open. So <clears throat> I don't, I don't attempt to do that anymore. Now we got the one motor off, water inlet motor. These are the ones I'm telling everybody. <clears throat> if you can't take the whole dishwasher, take this guy. I'll show you why. I'll show you how easy it is to come off. Two little clips. Just need a pry bar, a screwdriver. Just slides right off. See that? The heavy steel pops out. Now, I don't know if this one's getting out. Uh, this one's solid. <clears throat> but it's a lot of copper in there. You smash it with a hammer. That's one of the extra motors you get. Then you got the regular motor itself. She's right here. I think I'm going to have to take you off. I didn't want to. <clears throat> Okay. And you got a screw there. I want to put these guys back together. So, little trick if your screwdriver bit isn't magnetic enough. Boom. <clears throat> it's only if you want to use the screws again, right? Give it a little magic rub. Now it's magnetic. Not for forever. I don't know what's holding it still. We won't figure it out. A little clip right there. Oh, ain't gonna come off for me. Oh, that's fine. Well, you're on a little flexible rubber thing. <coughs> I don't know if any of you guys take these apart and sell the parts out of them. I know Uberism 81, <clears throat> that's pretty well what the guy depends on is resale life. That's way above my bag. Like I can I do a little bit, but not a lot. I sell what I know I can. I can't do this electronic stuff. I don't know it enough. <clears throat> Yeah, we sold a couple air conditioners on the weekend. Of course, I made sure they worked. They haven't been running in a while. We sold a bug zapper. Air conditioners are all different price tags. One I sold for 100 bucks because it was a big old grill. Another one I sold we sold for uh, 50 bucks. There's the pump. This one doesn't look like it has any stainless in it. Usually, okay, it's because that's not the uh, agitator. That's just the pump. Yeah, this is a new ball game for me. I haven't seen this one before. Okay, you spin off, but you're locked. Two, two positions lock. Well, you don't lock anymore. There we go. <laughs> <coughs> the likelihood of that being stainless, that actually looks like a heating coil. 
It is. That's a heating coil. Okay. <clears throat> well, that'll be dirty stainless. I got the same amount for shred. There's a nice little motor. That'll, yeah, they're, they're screwed on the impellers, so I'll take it off later. Right now, I'm just disassembling. Oh, put the screws back in before I forget. Going in today, I sold a snowblower and a lawnmower. Lawnmower wouldn't start. I used to use it as a Honda three speed, so propelled bagger. Do with your screws. Okay. Oh, only two screws came out anyway. Boom. <clears throat> More shred, right? Oh, the fun part. This door skin. Oh shit, it's heavy. Uh, I bet you the inside's stainless too. Magnet. The outside is, see. That is the interior. You see, not that. Like I said, just the bottom of it. disconnect the springs because otherwise you're forever fighting the door. Oh, that's a totally different spring. I've never seen that one before. Well, we'll see if we can get it apart. Well, I guess we're going to cut you. the door shut. Okay. That's where most of the tension is. That's different. Not like that. Now we go find the other one. <clears throat> like I said, otherwise you're fighting it. 
There it is. Boom, bada, bing. <clears throat> now you're not fighting the door springs. I think it'll stay open. Oh, this one's all star screwdriver bits. Highly unusual. <clears throat> They're normally torque. stainless screws so you hang on to them and put them with your stainless pile butter, eh? to take out. It's also stainless. Add it to your pile. <clears throat> A couple here. doesn't smell yummy. I lied. One screw. See that? All I wanted to do was spin. There. Now you come out. Oh, it's 10 feet long too. Cast, a little bit of stainless. Cast on the edge, stainless. So I got two screws right in there. Torque screws. There, see that? One on each side. Come apart just like that. <clears throat> Couple pieces of galvanized plate. In the shred buckets. No, oh, it's still holding you on yet. Nothing. <laughs> Couple screws in the bottom there. Take this plastic shit off. Plastic, more in the garbage. <clears throat> Stainless. See? Nice too if you can use it for something. Oh, yeah. It's like silicone holding that up. It's going to be messy. 
I'll deal with it later. You get the idea. Then you got this other piece. A little bit more hydro wire. circuit boards in there. I either take them out or throw them in the shred. Shred will do. Another motor. I do believe that motor lets your detergent in. Here we go. Ground wire. What do we got here? piece of stainless a couple screws that pops right down. It's another motor for me to get out. So I got all 40 vacuums ripped apart. I didn't do the nothing with the motors yet. Everything's in buckets, buckets and buckets. So this one, I generally cook in the fire pit because that stuff will not come off. <sighs> Lay it in the fire pit, gets nice and hot. The stuff just peels off. This one here should come out. Eh? Should just pull out. There we go. So that's how we do it. Bada boom, bada bing. <clears throat> Where'd you go? There you are. Another little look at that. There's still detergent in there. I'm going after that little motor. That's all I want. Look at that. He pops right out. Perfect. The rest is shred. <clears throat> no magic stainless in there. Coffee filter, I'm guessing. <clears throat> oh, what? Somebody left their fork in there. And that's steel. Ooh, uh. So that's done. Bada boom, bada bing. That's what she looks like when you're done with it. It's like a piece of shit. <clears throat> and I'll put it with the rest over there and continue on. I don't know why you can see that, but him, yeah, him, him, underneath this stuff. <clears throat> Washing machine, dryer, TVs. TV, I got to take his wheels off yet. TV, 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 I got to do yet. <clears throat> Two more over there. Sorry about the coffin. It feels like I'm getting a frog in my throat. Probably sounds like it too. So, see, it's more room. Stuff is gone. That's already been ripped apart. Sold the one lawnmower that was there. <clears throat> I don't know how much you can see that this is getting empty, but a lawnmower and a snowblower used to be in there. It is gone. This is a two-horse heavy, heavy two-horse trailer that converted into a shed. Yes, my wife and I had horses. We had Arabs and quarters. But it's getting empty, which is good. Means they're getting a few bucks. I put this little door on it. Of course, it's not the original door. It's usually a ramp. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack you. So 
so <clears throat> cast is still sitting there actually grew a bit that gas insert stove for a fireplace took it apart look at all the nice cast on it made me kind of wonder why it was so damn heavy that explained it so beautiful day dogs in the house she wanted in I worked six hours today and that was it so this guy is supposed to be sold he don't work he worked fine last year that thing works little micro furnace ceramic heater there's that snow blower but by the looks of the way she's leaning I think that tire don't hold there nope it does not but it ran like a charm I got a tarp over it <clears throat> I'm gonna process these guys yet more aluminum oh busy 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 more propane tanks I need the brass removed. So yeah, my hoard hasn't changed a lot. This is all processed. This doesn't belong here. I got to do some body work on my truck. It's the same color. It's heavy steel. It's from a microwave. So as soon as these get done, buckets of shred, stainless, 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 aluminum. <clears throat> the stainless is just sitting there because it's too big to go in the garage. Cast aluminum, the barbecues. Some of them are pretty good. This little indent, that's what those two pieces of stainless are from. They were in there. Oh, look at the time. So anyways, hopefully it didn't bore you too much. The sound of my voice sounds a little groggy. Cheers, it is Pepsi. <clears throat> well, I think I'm going to call her quits. Time to go in the house, shower up. Video's already long enough. But that's what I've been doing. Sell life, keep life. Scrap life. <laughs> what do you think, eh? See? Hangs up real nice. Oh, uh, pop cans. Number two copper. All three. Copper wire. I don't know how well you can see this. I'll turn it down a bit. Insulated copper wire, three buckets starting a fourth. Insulated copper wire, two big totes, ceiling fan that somebody threw away, stainless. I don't know if you can see this or not. <clears throat> sheet aluminum, cast aluminum, sheet aluminum in the bucket. It's the smallest kit from the vacuum cleaners. Number two copper wire. Back behind this is number one and number two copper. Irony aluminum or dirty aluminum. Batteries. Aluminum wire. That's pretty heavy. <clears throat> Struded aluminum circuits uh, they consider that zinc the brackets that hold the blades on for the uh, ceiling fans like where I go to they both say it's zinc I think it's aluminum cast aluminum I can't argue with them so there's my number one number two copper it's not a big hoard it just comes out of air conditioners dehumidifiers like the old ones because they give you that really nice stuff I like this. That's one of the radiators. All aluminum. The other one would be copper aluminum rad. 
more motor hoard that I have to get after that shred, so ignore that one. But that one, that one, and that one. Yeah, as you can tell, treadmill motors, they all have a big flywheel on them. I guess that's how it balances is out. Especially if you got somebody who uh, is bouncing on them, you know. When you're bouncing on the treadmill, it's got to be able to handle it, I guess. So, anyways, we'll leave her at that. A little update. Showed you what I did, like a dishwasher, like I said. <clears throat> if you can't take it, that one motor. Uh, anyways, the one that's, that you had to slide off, it's usually a nice little copper horn. I thought I had one laying here. I guess not. I'm going to show you, but I think I've shown you before. It's, and they just uncoil or you cut them. Or just beat it with a hammer. And then the plastic pops right out. And you got a nice handful of copper. And I had one here to show you real quick. Yeah, I'm touching everything greasy and goofy. And all these buckets have to be processed yet. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice, so I guess I better call her quits. I'm gonna show it to you, but anyways, you get the idea. It's all vacuum cleaner motors mainly. Well, I had 40 vacuums. I got them all apart. The motors are in here; they still have to be taken apart. I did a few on the weekend in between the raindrops. Go outside and play. Then the rain pulls in. Come back in here, play. Oh, look, sunshine! Go back outside. You know, it was a repeat cycle. I know you guys know it because everybody's been getting the water. I see uh, Marty's underwater again. But anyways, like, subscribe, and share. Or not. Have a nice day.